Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, this is going to be starting to play Getting Over It. Um, now I know this is like a rage game. Yeah, I just was kind of curious to see how it is. And if I have the willpower to beat it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright. Yo. Okay, this is already terrible. Okay. Okay, this is rough. Okay. Okay, man. No. This is really a... There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have. Or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red, it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Okay, this... Uh, I hate this... I hate this... The way this controls Thanks already. Thanks with me on this trip. And I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. <sighs> this is so worry. awkward. I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Oh, sh shoot. Yo! Oh. oh, this is so weird. This control is so weird. I don't like it. Okay. Yep. That's what I wanted to do, yeah? Uh, this feels so weird to control. Okay. Yep. There we go, okay. That took 10,000 millennia. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game is Jazzle, Stop. a mysterious Czech designer who was known for the <laughs> game Okay. In B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Okay. No. Oh no. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This. <laughs> oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. I would, I'm not sure I would call that a lot of progress, but okay. okay. I get rich! <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, boy. Okay. In a certain way, right. hiking is the perfect Ugh. embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs <laughs> are too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people have never got past it. Prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. 
And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Mm. Yep. Makes sense. <laughs> no, stop. Too much. Okay, that's fine. We're all. We're all good. It's stop. All right, what's the play, coach? I'm just gonna boost off of this and then try to grab that. Okay. Alright. This is horrible, this is horrible. Okay, and okay. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazzo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea of a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault, as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Stop sliding. This is going to be the worst part of this, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just going to... When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. That's what I said. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. No, I haven't. You did the first time. Okay. So I need to boost off of this and then grab this. That seems like a no for me, Chief. I'm going to commit a triple homicide. Okay. This one little section here is for some reason really horrible for me. Sorry about that. I was like... 
12 minutes of progress lost. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. I'm not. Hello? This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Okay, okay. You get up. Bro, I have been sitting here in silence for like 20 minutes. You know what, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good for now. Uh, this this was horrible. Ugh. I don't care about your cornbread. Please. Uh, yeah, that was that. Damn. The controls are a lot more janky than I thought they would be. And I'm all the way back at the bottom. Again. So that's great. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.